sugar gonna have sent here. Bake it again with a bake it again. Ah! And I'm so excited guys. This is I think this is my official face to face uh video um in my new place, my first apartment, my new apartment. Are you guys feeling my nails? Uh? Uh, I haven't been on it. I'm super late when it comes to reviewing this Juvia's Place foundation, but I wanted to make sure it was my color. I'm still not sure, but in pictures it looks great. So, hey, I don't know. So, yes, I am going to be reviewing the foundation, the concealers, and the powder. Okay, I didn't get any of the new pa uh, eyeshadow palettes, guys. I have so many eyeshadow palettes. Um, I feel like my money should go to other things like setting sprays and primers and shit like that. Foundations. I have so much freaking eyeshadow palettes already and I barely use them. So let's get into it. Before we get into anything, y'all, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tap that bell to be notified when your girl upload. And let me know what color you think I am or if I'm using the wrong color. Who knows? But um, I guess this shade, this is the Campella. So the foundation is $20, which I think is great. Okay, it, the, the, the bottle is pretty small. Okay, um, for reference, this is the Beauty Bakery foundation next to it. Um, I mean, it's kind of like the same size. You know, this is it next to the NYX. So yeah, it's not that small. Everybody was saying that it was small. Honestly, with the packaging, I think it's a pretty color, but I don't like that it's in this. You really can't see. Uh, you can't really see, like, you know, what color it is. Like, I would prefer it to be in a glass bottle, but I think this is great, too. I love the foundation, so whatever. Um, this is it against the Fenty. So, I mean, it's not that big of a difference, really. But, yeah. Um... It's saying to apply with a wet beauty sponge or synthetic makeup brush. I really need new brushes, so I didn't get the brush because all this stuff came up to like, uh, let me see. So the foundation was $20. The two concealers was um, $14. Well, yeah, $14. I got J7 and J13 concealers. And then I got Kalari and the powder which is $12 now when it comes to the freaking uh, packaging and the, the pricing is a one I would definitely buy more and um, I love it so hey I'm here for it I like what I saw when I wore it I tested it out about three times I like what I saw the only thing I'm not a fan of is the um, is the concealers this concealers for me are not that uh, full coverage. I need full coverage. Okay, a girl getting older. Okay, so I need some more coverage. Okay, so um, we're gonna go in with this first. But before we do that, we are going to prime with some. This is the Milk Hydro um, primer, guys. This primer is everything. I love it so much. So yeah, let's get into the primer. So it's very velvety, like it said, it's very velvety. I love how it is. Okay, it comes on and it's very full coverage. They say that a little goes a long way, which they are honestly right. But uh, I always like to do a big or go home. <laughs> so we're gonna put this on. I won't be talking for too long, guys. Um, I kind of want to speed through this video and I think I might choose like I'm definitely gonna get some more colors or whatever because I love this foundation like I love the formula the foundation and the powder is amazing like amazing um, if you're if you don't like if you don't need a lot of coverage then you'll probably most likely love the um, 
you'll most likely love the concealer. my beauty blender and just go over that to take away any streaks the brush might leave and if you feel like you need more then add more girl okay I like full 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 coverage so that's why I like to do that okay so what y'all think so far y'all think it match I just love how I come on. It feels very light. It don't feel heavy like some of them foundations. It don't feel heavy at all. Combination skin. So this actually, this foundation actually works for me. So this is on um, the concealer in the shade three, in the shade 13. Okay, what I'm talking about, but I don't. I like to use the shade 7 as a contour. It works pretty good. This is it. So it's not that dark, but it's like, it's good for me. So I'm probably going to need a darker one for the, uh, for the winter also. Okay guys, I'm back and I blended, okay? I blended in contour. So now I'm going in with Kalari, the setting powder, which I really, really love. I was so happy that I was able to get them all together because I didn't want to have to um, order it separately. I wanted the foundation with the powder. So this is it here. It kind of looks like um, Topaz from Ben Nye, or it kind of looks like Ava Beauty and Janae Allure and Inspire. And this is the most beautifulest, peachy ish.
so yes guys that's how the foundation looks i totally like the foundation let me know if you like it too okay again i use the color 340 Kampala for the foundation and then uh, concealer 13 and 7 and then i use the powder in kalari Tell me when to get. Tell me when to get. Wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait. Um. And uh, maybe I'll do some more videos of me trying other shades. But so far, this has been working this summer, and I love how it feels. It's very light. The only thing, like I said, guys, with the concealer, don't expect it to be um, full coverage because it's not. But they also state that already too. So. You know, yeah, but I love the foundation and the setting powder. That's my favorite. If you guys want to know information about this hair, um, I just posted a video about it, so go check it. It'll be also linked to that, will be in the description box. So go check that out. This hair is from Ariel J Hair Extensions. It's amazing, raw Indian hair. I didn't put no curls in it. This is the natural state of the hair. So go check that video out in the description. Don't forget to love yourself first and keep it glamming. Glam the sign signing out. Love you guys. Bye guys! Ooh.